Sagittarius, this is a really confusing month for you. And I think you're second guessing a lot when it comes to relationship dynamics. So let me get started. There's a full moon on the third in your sign. And that full moon by itself is just you being more emotionally open and raw. The full moon is making a square to Saturn, which is now in your fourth house of home and family. So I feel like you're being anchored. You are a free bird. You want freedom. You want to be able to come and go as you please. You're just, you have like this gypsy energy. And, and, and I get it. Look, I have a Sagittarius moon. I get you but you're being anchored. And I think because of this, you're very cranky. <laughs> um, there's a family responsibility. There's something with home family stuff that's dragging you down. And it doesn't have to be a crisis or anything bad. It could literally just be like a normal domestic obligation, caring for a child, caring for an elderly relative, somebody's sick, somebody needs you, the house, I don't know, the pipes burst, I don't know, something where you have to do a lot more adulting and be physically present someplace that you don't want to be. So you're kind of feeling that crankiness as the month opens. Now uh, on the fifth, Venus does go into Leo and moves into your ninth house. So I will quickly mention this for you because Venus is going to be in your ninth house until October 9th. She goes retrograde next month. We'll talk more about that next month. Venus in the ninth house by itself is not the biggest deal in the world for you. It is, um, possibly something very nice and beneficial happening connected to academic pursuits, spiritual studies, maybe a trip abroad at some point. Uh, you might be thinking about going back and traveling again someplace that you've been. And next month when Venus goes retrograde, that could all be working out. So that's the Venus part. But I really want to focus on the lunations this month for you because that's where all the meat and potatoes happens to be in your forecast. And the second half of the month, Sagittarius, Super, super confusing. You might be rethinking this new beginning that you have in relationship matters, okay? So there's a new moon in Gemini in your partnership sector on June 18th. And yes, normally a new moon is new beginnings, initiation, right? Planting seeds that you want to grow and eventually flower. Well, yeah, that's true. It's a new moon. A new moon is a new moon. But this new moon is almost exactly square Neptune, the planet of confusion, illusion, delusion. Neptune is in your fourth house. So we're back to this fourth house energy for you, but now it's for a different reason. Neptune in your fourth house and that square from the sun in your partnership sector is saying that you are going to have this confusing new beginning with a partner. Maybe your partner is moving in with you and that's the new beginning, but it doesn't go as planned. In fact, maybe it's really something that you're second guessing. It might be a harder adjustment for you. You might be very confused and conflicted about this. There may be some mixed messages. Maybe there's some uh, confusion about a family member and your partner and you're kind of stuck in the middle of it. Now, what makes this even more disorienting is the fact that Mercury, also in Gemini, also in your partnership sector, will be square Neptune as well. And that is exact on the 25th. So from June 18th to June 25th, super confusing time. And any decisions that you make, any initiation that you take connected to a partner, partnership matters, that relate to home, family, real estate, this is where your confusion is very specifically. And you might be disappointed. You might be disenchanted. The bubble may burst. You may have had this idealistic storyline in your mind, almost like a fairy tale of you two being together, living together, and the reality is going to be very different. If you're already living with your partner, this could be some type of confusing family situation that you're not agreeing on. You can't seem to get on the same page about it. And if you're totally single, this is uh, this might have to do with someone in your family 
confusing your judgment about your relationship decisions, past, present, future. Okay, so that's that energy is there pretty strong. That's something I really want you to think about in June. It might not feel like the easiest month. It may feel more emotionally fraught than normal for you. And like I said, I am getting this vibe of you being a little cranky, but the reason why you're cranky is because you have to do some more adulting things than you want to. And I'm not saying that you're irresponsible. That's not what I mean. It's just that you're constricted. And when your freedom is constricted, you tend to act out and you're not having it. And that's the vibe that I'm getting for you in the month of June.